Hi, welcome to Excel Video 231. I'm Nate Moore. I've been working with a group this week that has two different PM systems, one for one set of clinics and one for the other. And they've had to run one set of reports out of one set of clinics, then run the same reports out of the other set of clinics to get data. We've been able to pull those two clinics into one data set and run pivot tables against that and save them a bunch of time. When you're ready to do similar fancy reports for your organization to get all your data in one place, let's talk. What I want to do today is really, really back to the basics. We've done a bunch of videos in the past about complicated, tricky functions that do this, that, and the other thing. We're in the basics. We're going to talk about add, subtract, multiply, and divide today. And we're going to do it with the beginning of what I've got going for a fee schedule analysis. I've got some codes, uh, a Medicare physician fee schedule, just sample numbers, an average commercial reimbursement, what the practice's fee schedule is and the volume for each of the different types of procedures. And let's just play with what add, subtract, multiply, and divide will do. For example, let's say that we've got a patient who gets, say, we're going to start the form with equals and gets, say, one of this procedure at the Medicare rate and two of these procedures. Add's really simple. We, you start the formula with an equals. You just list the cells you want to add, and you can equals that plus this. And then if you want to change and say, no, they're not going to get that one this time. They're going to get that one instead. It's really easy to do addition in Excel. Subtraction is very similar. Let's say if we want to know the difference between this 99213 and this 99212 code, there's the difference. And again, start the formula with equals. The cell you want to start with, subtract the cell, the, the second cell, there's your answer. Pretty straightforward. Now let's say that maybe we're worried that we're under coding or we, we've got we've documented to this, but we're only billing this. And based on our sample and what we've looked at the charts, we think maybe there's 200 claims where we probably could have should have billed the 213 code, but instead we build the 212 code for whatever reason. Well, we can figure that out. We can say equals 200, and then times is just the asterisk above the 8 key on the keyboard. And we'll just multiply by this cell here that has our difference. And we'll say, oh, well, you know, the cost of doing that annually of that undercoding, assuming that, that, that that's all appropriate for 200 claims, 200 cases, 200 encounters, whatever it is we're counting, is $6,100. Let's do a divide example. If let's say we wanted to know um, the fee schedule divided by the Medicare schedule and see what what kind of multiply we're applying to the how many times the Medicare fee schedule is our fee schedule. And for those of you with the OIG, we are not setting fees. We are not doing any of that. We're just doing an example on how to divide. I'm not telling you what to bill or any of that. If we do equals the fee schedule divided by the Medicare Physician Fee Schedule, we're at about 2.6 times the Medicare Physician Fee Schedule for that code. Well, let's click on that one. For that code. And then if we copy this down, we can see, all right, for this one, 3.2. For that one, 1 1.96. We can format. We can do a bunch of things to play with these numbers. But um, that's how to divide. I put divide over here instead of over here. hope that doesn't mess you up. But that's how to add, subtract, multiply and divide. And here are the operators. Here's what you need to know to make Excel add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Start your formula with, with equals. And you can start to build some pretty complicated formulas without ever getting into any of these kind of functions. Just add, subtract, multiply, and divide. That's where to start. I hope that was helpful for you. Stay tuned. We'll do more basics next time. Thanks for watching.